And with Michigan in the middle of this fourth wave, Governor Gretchen Whitmer was here in Metro Detroit talking about the crisis. Once again, pleading for Michiganders to get vaccinated and wear masks while indoors, but she did have more insight into her thinking about how to attack these new cases. And Rod Maloney spoke with the governor today. He's in the newsroom with more, Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, the governor continued holding to her position that no mask mandates are necessary at this point. At the same time, she did say the new COVID variant Omicron is a concern, but she believes that we do have the tools necessary to fend it off. All the information is that these vaccines still hold up well against all the variants that have come and gone, but viruses mutate, and that's why wearing a mask while you're inside is crucial. Our COVID numbers are too high. They've always been too high. Governor Gretchen Whitmer reiterating what's different a year later, along with President Joe Biden. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. On the campaign trail, Joe Biden criticized then-President Trump for his travel ban, calling it xenophobic and fear-mongering. Today, the president said of his own. The reason for the immediate travel ban is there were a significant number of cases, unlike any other country, well, the few around South Africa in the world. We needed time to give people an opportunity to say, get that vaccination now before it heads. It's going to move around the world. Back here in Michigan, where hospital beds are filling to near capacity with COVID patients, Henry Ford Infection Control and Prevention Director, Dr. Dennis Cunningham said, on a scale of one to 10. I'm probably gonna give this one an eight out of 10, simply because there's so many mutations here. And as I'm looking at the different mutations and what they code for, it has me a bit concerned. Any COVID uh, is too high, especially when we have access to vaccines and we know masking works. So. Let's give our hospital workforce, you know, support by everyone doing their part and getting vaccinated. Well, the governor did remind that there are mask mandates in effect in many school districts. And she also said that MDHHS has put out its best practices. But she also said, look, we're going to have to learn to live with COVID. And considering the prevalence of the vaccine, she says it is preventable. Yeah, Rod, uh, Dr. Cunningham, clearly worried, but I think also found a positive to take away from what we know so far about the, the new variant, right? Right. What he did say was that it is less deadly and less severe in terms of the cases, at least what we've seen so far. What he did also say is that, look, we have to see what the Thanksgiving effect is of all right. people getting together. And he said, we're about two weeks out from having the real understanding of where things are with this new variant. That'll be quite an insight, especially as we head into the next holiday, which is uh, right on its tail. All right, Rod. Now